by, uh, well, not really research, but basically games can become a form of e-therapy. E-therapy, electronic therapy. So games can be used to treat people with mental disorders, such as this game, Sparks. Sparks was created by the research team at the University of London, uh, led by Dr. Sally Merrill. Uh, this game tells people to, with mental disorders, tells people to overcome obstacles, and the, and the solution to those obstacles can be used to solve real life problems. And it has proved better than, regu than regular counseling. So if games can do all these things for us, all, uh, all these uh, positive things, what can we use games for? How can we, how can we all, as a whole, like, benefit from it? Well, we can do something called gamification. Gamification is when we add real gaming elements to real life situations. Point system, upgrades, uh, and these usually make people more competitive. And how would we benefit from game gamification? Well, we can we can actually add gamification to learning. So we can gamify learning. So we use games to learn. And how do I know we'll use the games to learn more? Well, my friends at school, they're always late for every single class, whether it's math, science, English, you name it, they're late for it. Except for one class, and one class only. Computer class. And why are they never late for computer class? Simply because after you're done your assignment, you can play video games. They wouldn't come late to the class, they would come early to the class. They would run up in front and, and wait there until the teacher opens the door. And they, would, or they would actually fight over the computers because not all the computers have video games. What happens if we play video games in all subjects? They be late for any subject. So they'd be excited to learn, they'll, they'll ask, they won't be lazy to go to school anymore, they'll actually want to go to school and want to play video games. Uh, the average 13 to 18 year old usually plays 14 hours of video games a week. What if he moves those to school? An example of gamification you can use, a game you can learn, is Minecraft. Well, Minecraft is a sandbox game, so you can do anything you want in this game. You, you name it, you can do it, your only limit is your imagination. In Minecraft, there's an, an entity called Redstone. Redstone works exactly like electricity in real life, and you can only get by mining in the deep caves of Minecraft. So with this, you can build uh, buildings, calculators, yes, calculators, real working, uh, real working calculators. I see the guy do it, and he said he needed math and real computer sciences. And so we can, so we can use this to teach math. And so this can be a form of uh, gamification, a game that we can use to learn. Because a lot of gamers, well, they don't like educational games. Well, this is like a game that doesn't seem very educational, yet fun. A lot of people play, play this game now, and I used to play this game too. And so, if games can do all these things for us, these positive things, these, and we can actually benefit from them, what can we do with them? Well, if we can actually make money from them, like if I did increase our socialization, reaction time, or use, uh, or use it to learn, improve, I was like, I eyesight, improve eyesight, and a lot of other things, but, and video games play a huge part in a person's childhood now. But all of these things can, can only work if you use it wisely. Now, I'm gonna leave you the question. Are we using that, are we using that wisely? That's only one of the other guys.